Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Second Sun Woodworks. This is part three of a DIY wood-fired brick pizza oven build. If you haven't seen the first two parts, go ahead and check them out on my channel and it'll give you uh, all the steps to get to this part of the oven build. Uh, let's get started on part three. After completing all four of the arches, along with the chimney, I went ahead and used my grinder to sand down the edges between each of the bricks where some of the mortar had squeezed out to clean up the inside of the oven. You want to use a masonry disc attachment for your grinder, something that is suitable for uh, uh, bricks, and then just sand down um, lightly between each of the cracks. Uh, and I did this before I enclosed off or closed off the back of the oven so that I could have easy access to both ends and uh, that way I could get in there with my grinder and clean everything up. As you can see, this created a whole lot of dust, so I would use your air compressor to not only blow out the oven, but blow off yourself after you've been doing all this grinding because you will be covered in dust. After that, I went ahead and moved to the back side of the oven where I began to construct the wall that would be closing off the end of the oven. Now when you do this, you want to really make sure that you seal everything in with a lot of mortar uh, because this will be the back end of the oven. There's going to be a whole lot of heat at the end of the oven when you get a fire going and you don't want there to be uh, any seams or any, any loose uh, sections between the mortar and the bricks where the air can escape because it'll throw off the whole physics of the oven uh, that you are going to be wanting to go for in order to uh, cook a good pizza. I mentioned this in one of the other parts of this project that's posted on my channel, but you want to make sure to offset the seams of the bricks as you stack them. This will really stabilize the structure that you're building. Now one thing I'll note about this fire brick and this fire brick mortar that I am using is that it is not water resistant. So you can see on the right hand side of the oven that some rain had fallen on the oven before I had a chance to completely seal it up and it made some of the mortar drip. Now that is the reason that I'll be covering it with a uh, thin coat of uh, just cement mortar on the outside. So keep that in mind when you're building the oven and uh, weather that's you know happening during the time that you're building the oven. After that, I went ahead and went around the whole exterior of the oven and filled in any voids and cracks with mortar so that I could completely seal everything up before putting the exterior coat of mortar. After that, I went ahead and moved on to mixing some mortar, some just regular cement mortar. This is a water-resistant mortar that you can use with conventional cement bricks. And uh, so what I use this mortar for is to create a layer of bricks around the base of the oven to cover up the center block to make it look nice. I stated this before in the earlier parts of this project, but 
I am in no way a professional bricklayer. I have mad respect for people who do this uh, as a profession because it takes a whole lot of skill. Um, but I did my best and it actually turns out to look pretty decent. One thing that I quickly realized as I was building up this wall is that you can spend a whole lot of time trying to make everything look pretty as you're building up the brick wall, but in the end you're going to have to clean it up anyways. So if I was you, don't spend so much time filling in all the cracks and the voids of the brick wall as you're building it up. Instead, build it up and then you can go back and you can fill everything in with mortar and then you can actually just spray it off with a hose um, and or uh, use a wet sponge to wipe everything down. I was super fortunate to have my friend Joel come over and assist me with some of the bricklaying. Uh, it made the process go a whole lot faster and, and it was way more enjoyable. So huge shout out to my friend Joel. You're the man and uh, I had a great time doing this with you. Before finishing the whole exterior brick wall that will be covering the base of the oven, I went ahead and moved on to applying cement mortar to the outside of the oven itself to seal it up. Now to do this I just used a cement mortar and then got it to a relatively wet state and then rubbed it in. Then I'll move on to finishing the wall, the brick wall, while this coat dries and then I'll be able to apply an additional coat and then a third coat. Keep in mind that you can use a cement trowel to smooth everything out and or a sponge. You can probably notice that there's some ashes inside the oven and this is because I did do a test fire and it sparked right up uh, which was awesome but I would recommend doing this so that the bricks can settle with the heat before you apply the exterior mortar. After that I went ahead and moved on to completing the brick wall that covers up the center block around the base.
since this was my first time laying bricks like this, uh, beforehand I did watch a ton of videos, read some articles, and try to get some tips on how to use the trowels and how to uh, lay the cement. Uh, so I would recommend doing the same. After completing the wall, you can actually just rub mortar into the cracks where it's missing. This takes a whole lot less time than making it perfect as you're building the wall up. And then once you've got all the mortar rubbed in, you can use a bricks tool that I use um, to define all of the marks between the bricks. And then you can use a hose and a sponge to wash everything down. After that, I went ahead and completed the last coat of mortar that is on the exterior of the oven itself. And I actually kind of rubbed in some mortar um, around the base to kind of make it look like the oven itself was sitting atop the bricks. When I applied the last coat of mortar around the chimney, I then used a chimney cap or a, a, a top, kind of like a little hat for the chimney <laughs> that uh, will block sparks from flying out as you are making a fire. And then you can just set that into the cement and uh, that will secure it. Once everything had completely dried, I went ahead and took my sander and cleaned out the outside of the bricks where some of the mortar was still rubbed on and kind of made, made the bricks look gray. Just wanted to clean everything up. I guess use 60 grit for this. Once that was completed, I went ahead and gave the whole top with the mortar a nice quick sand because then I will be moving on to painting it gray. I had some leftover gray patio paint that I used for the exterior of the oven. This not only sealed it up, but it made it look really nice. After I completed painting the exterior of the oven, it was done, and man was I excited. So I invited a bunch of friends over for my first ever pizza party, and a huge shout out to my brother Bo for making the dough for this pizza party. The dough was amazing. It tasted so good. And then also a huge shout out to my friend Matt for teaching us all of his pizza skills, showing us how to throw the dough and to cook it, 
and uh, the party overall was a huge success, and uh, and the oven didn't crumble, which was awesome. So uh, check out some clips from the from the party. Let us know if you need. Just need my dojo. Sure. Check out this fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's Zod. All right, Matt. What are we doing, Matt? What are we doing now? We're slinging Zod. We're slinging the Zod. We're getting the press. Where did you put that butt hair? Let me see some Moving some of our bubbles around here. Oh, okay, butter. Smooth uh, it out. I don't know. I didn't. Not too butter. much, because too much handling just will give you a little. It's somewhere in there. Somewhere in there. Too yeah. tight of a dough. Did you put some of that mustache hair in there? I did. So that it's a special little zinc. So we get our little press into the hand. Oh, Rise yeah. that crust on the side here. Give it a good spin. Keep it moving. Yeah, Keep it spinning. Right now. now give the, the bottom a little press. How do you feel about hiring a professional for this? I think this is awesome. It's a little toss here. Give a little stretch oh, in the middle. Wide angle of this. Mm. This is awesome. Oh yeah. Ready? The dough is working. Here we go. This is a true test of bow right now. Woo! Just feel this dough. Oh yeah. It's feeling like, that's looking like some good Yeah, you gotta get this. This is too glamorous, you know, to give the old toss. Oh! Jeez. Oh, he's a little rusty, Sorry, but little he's rusty. still got it. He's still got we it. We can edit that out, so we'll be fine. <laughs> Dude, this is great. I don't know how big to get here. I don't know either. I, I think, think probably that's... about a 12 inch pie. Yeah, 12 inch pie. So we, can, we want thin, you know, it's like Neapolitan style. Yeah. Thinner, but not crispy. I always hard. I have a bad habit of breaking through my head. It's the gentle fingers, is what you need. Yeah, you gotta feel it. Yeah, that's that's sweet. Oh, yeah. Wow. This would be different than throwing a lot of flour in the. We should do, Caleb, was get a perforated peel. Ooh. Well, the wood ones don't stick. On the next. All right. Dude! Dude! What's happening? Um. I do it. <laughs> so why not? I mean, I guess we could. Thank you, man. Yeah, what do you think? Awesome. That'll be 20 bucks. Uh, I would. Three yeah. <laughs> times? Yeah. I'll take it out of here. Oh, thank you. Right over. <laughs> I'm gonna add the basil afterwards. I'm not much of a cooked basil kind of guy. Perfect. Makes it a little slimy. So we're gonna do some gonna age. Some there, uh... All right. Are you gonna slide it off onto this one? I don't know. Or are you gonna tell you? Is like give it a like a yeah. What I how do I do that? Let's see if I can. Oh yeah, you'll oh, yeah. It off. So when you're doing it, I would like keep it moving. Right, like, keep it shifting. Like right, okay. even like right now. Start close so you don't. It doesn't fall. Uh, oh. It's all right. You can be careful. Ooh. And then wait, no, no. Yeah. On yeah. the backside. Because you'll have to spin. If it, these right? stones are pretty hot, it's gonna. It's gonna cook that up. See, that's still pretty soft. The stones up here probably aren't that hot. Still needs a little bit. I think that crust is gonna be okay though. Thank you. Is it cooked on that other side? It's cooking fast on that other side. And that's kind of the idea, I think. Shoot, it's super hot here. Hot. Here, you want to use the other peel? Yeah, here. I mean, just say. We'll put, the, we'll put this in the outfits. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Do you have like a tongs? Wouldn't the tongs help to spin it? I don't know. Nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's gonna be good. Once you kind of get it. So I'm going like kind of big pushes, but not too big. That's definitely a problem there, man. That corner there. So I'm gonna spin it from the other side. Yeah, you can see it. See that in. bubble there? So, uh. Yeah, I got that little one if you wanna use that. Oh, yeah. Some of these glasses out here. Yep. Dude, this is a sweet. It's pure art. Yeah. 
Yeah. I love this one. Dude. Love that oven. Coming over. Yeah, man.